Hi, my name is Tamisha Mitchell, and I'm here to discuss with you the topic of Serenaca and their demands for self-determination. Now, in order to fully understand this topic, it's important that you understand the definition of self-determination, which is the fundamental right of all people to freely decide your own political status and to freely pursue your own cultural, economic, and social development. A little background information on Libya. Um, Libya is a country in the northern region of Africa. It is the third largest country by area and the 17th largest country in the world. Libya is divided into three regions, Fazan, which is located in the south, Tripolitania, which is located in the west, and Serenaca, which is the eastern region in our focus for today. The people of Serenaca are trying to overcome a centralized government, which is why they're pursuing their quest for self-determination. When most people think of Libya, one person usually comes to mind. That person is Muammar Gaddafi. He was the official ruler of Libya since 1969. He had a very corrupt reign, which revolved around money. Um, Libya became a dictatorship housing under his commands. It was a very centralized government, and all the money went to a city in Tripolitania called Tripoli. There were a number of reasons for their quest for self-determination. Some of those are um, there was a marginalization and neglect of the Serenaca people for over four decades. There was also a lack of significant economic progress and development, like unlike those of Tripolitania and Vazan. Uh, Serenaca people were also dissatisfied with the central government in Tripoli, and there was an underrepresentation of the Serenaca people in the interim parliament body. On March 5, 2011, the NTC was formed, or the National Transitional Council. The leader of this council was Musafa Abdel Jalil. Um, with this council, they hoped to overthrow the Gaddafi command and try to bring it to a more democratic state. Um, this caused the Libyan civil war and ultimately led to the death of Gaddafi. Um, you would think that with Gaddafi out of the way, um, that um, there would be room, room for improvement for Serenaca, but not much changed. Um, there were not many change differences between Gaddafi and Jalil. Um, basically, they both believed in, he believed, um, Jalil believed in centralism. He believed that um, that was the way to go, and he believed that unity and nationalism was the right thing to do. Um, we didn't say, there was many weaknesses of the NTC. Um, some of those weaknesses was that there was a lack of transparency. There was also a failure to protect the rights of minorities. Um, there was slow restoration of public services um, in the areas worst hit by the revolution. There's also an un un unaccountable detention system as well as an inability to bring militias under control and torture of prisoners. Um, one of the main things that's happened recently in uh, Libya and has caused a lot of uproar was a man by the name of Abdul Fatah Yunus. He was a senior military officer uh, of, in Libya and he's actually Gaddafi's right hand man. He was originally for the Gaddafi government, um, but he heard the, the voice of the people and he basically resigned from post and decided to fight alongside the rebels. In result, he was his body was found mutilated. Um, and, uh, he basically fought for the people. He fought for um, this was a crime of passion, and in result, the Serenica people have nothing to show for it. The, the process of uh, self determination um, is pretty simple. There can be a direct negotiation by representatives of the participants, there can also be a mediation through a trusted third party. Um, the findings of an agreed upon independent tribunal or the rulings of a recognized international court, such as the International Court of Justice. In conclusion, these unjust uh, discriminatory acts are still occurring um, in, in Serenaca. They're still igno igno being ignored to the point to where they're pursuing self-determination. It's up to us to support them, um, their independence, so that they can profit in their region and Libya can be a better nation as a whole. Thank you.